Hi, welcome to Man of Steel. Van gives hope, and it's and it's not going to be much. Well, it is hope, but it's sad news, I'm afraid. But not too sad. It's <laughs> sad to describe. Um. Yeah. Well, Zack Snyder stepping down from uh, the director's chair of Justice League. Not because of anything he's done or um or the studio messing thing and it's just for private you know, for private reasons and well it's not really private reasons, it's for family reasons. And um I'll read you I'll read you a report. Terrible family tragedy has forced Zack Snyder to step down from his work on Justice League. He revealed to the Hollywood Reporter, uh, Snyder's wife and producing partner, Deborah Snyder, will also be taking a break. The, ve uh, the Avengers and soon-to-be Batgirl director, Joss Whedon, will be taking over and finishing Justice League. Now, don't worry, okay? Now, as you probably know through other videos, I'm not big on Joss Whedon. And he ain't going to turn it into some sort of Marvel film, so don't, don't worry. I'll continue. In March, Snyder's daughter, Autumn, committed suicide at the age of 20. Snyder initially planned to continue work on Justice League, even after two weeks off to cope with the tragic loss, but understandably, it became too much to deal with. I want you to look. I want you to think of that. Snyderverse or whoever else is out there hating on this guy. I want you to I want you to to imagine yourself in his place and having to listen to people like you. Okay, just remember that there is more to life than uh, than taking a director apart from over a, a franchise which he loves and which he wanted to do for his fans. He wanted to do Justice League for his fans. But again, don't worry. In my mind, I thought it was a Catholic thing to go back to work just to bury myself and see if that was the way through it, Snyder told The Hollywood Reporter today with his wife Deborah sitting by his side. The demands of his job are pretty intense. It is all consuming and in the last two months I've come to the realisation I've decided to take a step back from the movie to be with my family, be with my kids who really need me. They are all having a hard time and having a, uh, uh, I'm having a hard time. Warner Brothers is supporting the Snyders during this difficult time. What they are going through is unimaginable, and my heart, our hearts, go out to them, says Warner Brothers Pictures President Tommy Emmerich. Warner Brothers suggested delays, delaying the release of Justice League so that Snyder could finish the movie himself, but he rejected that idea. And after seeing a rough cut, Snyder decided that he wanted to add more scenes to Justice League. He brought in Josh Whedon to to write them as Snyder was getting ready to head back to London to shoot the additional scenes. He realised he could no longer finish the project himself. The directing is minimal. Okay, I want you to remember that. The director, uh, the directing is minimal. Okay, so you'll probably still cast, it's like, you know, probably like Superman 2, you know, Richard Donner done about 90% of the film. He'll probably still be credited as director. The directing is minimal and it is to adhere to the style and tone and the template that Zach Z set, said Emmerich. So, George Whedon, it's not to do it his way, it's to do it Zach's way. We're not introducing any new characters in this, it's the same characters in some new scenes. He's handing a baton to Josh, but the course has already been set by Zack. I still believe that despite this tragedy, we'll still end up with a great movie. Of course. 
It sounds like Schneider went public with this personal news because he knew how the critics would react if we heard he was stepping down without context. Here's the thing I never planned to make this public, Schneider said. I thought it would be just be in the family, a private matter, our private sorrow and we would deal with it. When it became obvious that I needed to take a break, I knew there would be uh, narratives created on the internet. They'll do what they'll do. The truth is it, I'm past caring about that kind of thing now. I was shocking Snyder all the best as they deal with the terrible loss. Source, The Hollywood Reporter. Wow. It's it, it never rains, but it pours for for DC. Just when you get in the break, I mean, I wanted. I mean, we're still getting a, a Zack Snyder Justice League movie. Just we didn't only come around to do the to do the pickups and to touch a wee bit here and there. And what we've already seen, you know, most of the film has been filmed. More, uh, any joke scenes or what not is in it and it's not due to Joss Whedon so I hope this message gets carried forward and every other sort of click and bait material out there I hope nobody tries to, to twist this news I want them to all to be respected let's see if true journalism can happen and that we uh, and this sort of news gets spread the fact, you know, that they're, that they're, uh, oh God, what's, what's the words I'm looking for? They're being passionate, they're being compassionate about Zack Snyder's, um, and they've been compassionate about his situation just now. And the fact that Zack Snyder's finished caring about it, well, you can't touch him because he knows there's a seriousness thing. And after losing most of my family myself, um, I know it's different. I know it's different for a father to, to lose a, you know, a kid, especially at 20, 20 years old. You know, it's... You know, it's very hard to get over that. I was 20 myself when I lost my parents. Uh, and it, stay, it stays with you. And to get this backlash from from people and critics, it's, it just made me more of a fan. The fact that he, he wanted to carry on Justice League and not delay it and, and try and use that as a way to get over his, his you know, the stuff that was happening in his life. And the fact that he's done majority of the film and, and he's leaving it with and Josh Whedon. Now there we go, there's a Marvel director and he's come around to do DC. That speaks volumes as well. And the fact that Josh Whedon will probably you know we probably love Zack Snyder's work and will probably try and do homage to it and try to to create a film with Zack Snyder's vision in place. So yeah, I'm still for this film. I still have high hopes for it because I know deep down it's still going to be a Zack Snyder film and it will say that and it will be directed. I want you to now leave your comments down below and best wishes to Zack Snyder and stuff like that. Not that I'll ever say he's, uh, you'll ever see them, but please share down below and, and let all the other fans see. Okay, thank you very much.